and welcome to my channel, Sugar Mama TV. The other day I listened to an amazingly inspiring podcast around minimalism. And it made me realize that some um, bad habits are slowly starting to creep back in my life around excessiveness and mindlessness. At the same time though, I'm also gonna be kind to myself because I'm a new mum again, I'm very sleep deprived, and my body is constantly giving to this beautiful baby. So I've come up with a new vlog challenge. So in 10 different parts of my life, I'm going to find at least 10 things that I can get rid of, declutter, reduce, recycle, or give away. And I'm hoping by doing this, it will make me kind of get back on top of my value system, get back on top of um, living a life of minimalism. Also help, I guess, create more clarity, um, more depth, remove that excessiveness, and make me realize if there's anything I need to be discovering about myself as I go through this journey. My makeup collection. Recently, I feel like it's gotten a little bit excessive. I've got duplicates. I've got things that I thought I would use that I I don't really use and I'm realizing that I only really use probably about 20% of my makeup collection so I really want to try and just really get rid of the excess and pare it down and get it more streamlined so I'm making a conscious note of things that last a really long time and making sure I don't go and buy any more of these I'm also putting together little pouches for different components of my life for example um, where I have duplicates dividing and conquering so one for the car I'm making up one for the office as well with the other duplicates that are left over, I'm putting together a collection and I'm gonna give it to a friend of mine. All right, today, as soon as I get her down in her cot and she stays asleep, I am going to tackle 10 life admin tasks. Dental appointments for myself and Rocco, what I'm gonna wear for a couple of work events, set up my printer, do a little bit of banking, all these little things that I've just been like too busy to sit down and just simply do. Continuing on, I'm in my bathroom, and there are some skincare and hair care products that I'm realizing I have duplicates of multiple products going at the same time, which is one of my biggest pet peeves. At the moment, I have four different body moisturizers going on at the same time, three body washes going on at the same time. Now, admittedly, that's actually not my fault. That's, off. that's actually the fallout from Tom's stuff moving into my house. Go through, um, work out what products need to be used up first. So prioritizing the ones that have the least amount left in it so that I get through those quickly and dispose of them responsibly. Working out which products are the ones I really like to and making sure that I only buy that so I don't get tempted or distracted by trying and testing all sorts of other different um, hair care and skin care products because it's simply wasteful. Next step, minimizing my wardrobe, getting rid of anything that is excessive, getting more space for love and appreciation of the key pieces in my wardrobe. Let me talk you through my process. And by the way, I'm going to be getting rid of these items responsibly. All right, first things, items that have shrunk or no longer fit me. Also items that fit me, but don't sit right on my body shape. A really big important discovery for me is I'm getting rid of fast fashion. I am no longer going to support fast fashion brands. So in that, I will be letting go of my Zara pieces in my wardrobe and not be buying them again. These two really cute dresses, I'm actually gonna be giving to two friends. Also, I went through my wardrobe and found things that are just duplicates. Lots of black dresses, which I really love wearing, but I don't need as many. These black dresses, duplicates, um, another beautiful one here, I'm going to be putting online on eBay for the thousand dollar project. So I will make sure I link all these items um, down in the video description box below. So if you're interested in picking up um, a few bargains and helping support the thousand dollar project, 
listings are below because I already have two winter coats I don't need that in Australia we don't have a long enough winter and it's not that cold and another top here which I bought this is a classic example I bought this for a special event and I've probably worn it three or four times um, never buy things particularly for an event when you go to buy something make sure you can think of at least five things that you know you're gonna be able to wear an item for so that will also go on eBay now let me show you the two things that I'm sitting on the fence I can't decide so let me know what you think of these two things and whether I should hold on to them for a little bit longer and see how I feel. It's a beautiful Dion Lee pleated dress. This was actually quite expensive. I will be selling it, so it's okay. And these do hold their value, Dion Lee. This self-portrait top, which I really like, but I've had a few people comment to me about it being inappropriate because it's very sheer. Look at the space I'm now created in my wardrobe. That makes me feel so much better. Things aren't squashed and crushed up against each other. And I just feel like there is so much more breathing space in my wardrobe. 10 by 10 minimalism decluttering vlog challenge continues. Today, I'm simply finding 10 things in my home that I have been meeting to deal with. I'm kickstarting it with this. Tom has given me permission to get rid of the adult onesie. Another two things that I'm getting rid of are these hats. At least, ooh, eight to 10 years old. Last night, I showed my girlfriend who's over for dinner what they look like and she immediately said no. They're done. They've had their day. So she's given me the kick up the bomb that I needed to finally make that decision and let them go. I was going to get rid of this plant that I thought was dead and literally was just about to turn to it and get rid of it. And then I realized it's come to life again. How good is that? Decluttering the bits of paper lying around my house. Just decluttering them all, but actually getting them done and organized. Filing paperwork away, getting rid of more paperwork. Getting organized in working out what's the next book I'm going to read. Organizing Unpacked by Sabine Strava. This is the perfect time to read this book because I would have decluttered my life and I'll be ready to take my organizational skills, my decluttering and my minimalism to the next level with professional help. Another thing that I am decluttering, the free pajamas that they give you on long international flights. I just need to remember to pack my own pajamas so that I fly in comfort. Another couple of things I've just found to declutter are some of my bathroom skincare products that I definitely do not use because I simply do not like. Even though I have tackled my 10 things today, I'm on a roll so I'm gonna keep going. Next stop is my vitamins. I do really value vitamins. I do notice that particular ones make a difference in my life, but I am the type of person that when I go to the health food store, I can't help but myself buy a whole range of things and quite often that includes things that I don't really use or need. I'm going through my vitamins now. I'm gonna pick out the ones that I definitely use and make a note of them so that I buy more of those. Then the ones where they've been in here for a while and I haven't actually used them, I'm gonna let go of. Uh, definitely don't use these. Cod liver oil, I took this when I was pregnant, so I probably don't need to take this anymore. Potassium, I don't know why I bought this. Magnesium, really good for sleep. Decluttering dead flowers from my house. So I've had a little bit of a breakthrough. I have been successfully going through and finding different components in my life where I've got rid of or let go of at least 10 things. I'm exhausted, I'm depleted, looking after this little person, juggling a lot of things that all mothers do in a modern world. And it's taken its toll, and from that, anxiety has arisen. In getting rid of the excess and decluttering and reorganizing and restructuring, I'm realizing that what my habits are that I don't like, that have crept back in, are just simple, quick fixes. I need to be looking at doing things for myself that are long-term, sustainable, that replenish what my body, my head, my mind, my energy levels actually genuinely need rather than artificial fixes such as buying things. So I'm gonna continue on with the last three or four areas left in my challenge. I really want to make sure that I complete things because that's another thing that I've been doing in my life, starting all these tasks and jobs and projects and lists and I just get distracted and don't complete things. Next stop, a digital declutter. First of all, my inbox. I'm subscribing from all those sneaky newsletters that I don't even remember enrolling in. 
I've gone through my personal Instagram account and unfollowed a whole pile of brands that I didn't even realize I was following. Now I'm moving on to my Google Drive file. I'm pretty good at keeping this meticulously organized. Any random files floating around in the wrong spot, making sure that things are intuitively named correctly so that it's quick and easy to find things. So we are back in the fridge and we are getting rid of everything that's got a used by expiry date, being a little sad and dead. Just really not that healthy and doesn't contribute towards my energy levels. Definitely off. Whoa, yuck, that's gross. That's definitely off. Um, I have so many mustards going at the same time. Oh my gosh, there's, a, there's five mustards going. So there's one jalapeno left. Three jalapenos jars going at the same time. Uh, check out all these things I was able to get out of my fridge and now my fridge is looking neat, tidy and organized. Um, how much more space do I have in my fridge and how much more organized does it look? I'm lined up with the labels facing me, things grouped together correctly like, and also I can see what I actually need to get me through for the rest of the week so I also won't be wasting money on food. Next stop is Rocco's wardrobe. Um, recently he went through a growth spurt and has got a few clothes that don't fit him anymore. I have got him some new clothes ready. However, I'm not going to put them in the cupboard until I make the space for it and get rid of all the stuff that doesn't fit him. Now with the clothes that don't fit him, I'm going to bag them up and give them to my friends who have young boys. All right, the divided clothes are ready to go to my friends. I've even been able to add some toys to their piles, which are toys that Rocco has given me the all clear to give away. So the last area that I am tackling in this 10 by 10 minimalism decluttering vlog challenge is Tom stuff. Tom has so much stuff, he's such a hoarder. I should almost make a vlog about his stuff and decluttering it goes completely separately because that would go on for hours and hours. I've grouped together his items and put it into one pile and I have managed to find a tiny spot in my storage cupboards for him and I'm just going to simply put it all in there and at least it's out of sight, out of my mind. It won't frustrate or irritate me. He's ever urgently looking for things, which is always the case that he can never find. He knows to go straight to this one spot behind me, which I'm building up in that cupboard down there to put all that stuff away. Paperwork, more paperwork, paperwork, absolutely everywhere. I'm pretty sure that that's no longer needed. But he can decide because he knows now where to find it. Ta-da! Out of sight, out of mind. Bye-bye. <sighs> so I've just finished my 10 by 10 minimalism vlog challenge. I have to say, I have a rush of energy. Even though the house isn't perfect, still an element of clutter and mess and disorganization, it feels a lot better. I've made the space and the clarity to understand my value system on a deeper level. I've realized being a minimalist or incorporating a minimalism philosophy into your life is something like investing. It's very powerful when you do it on a small but regular basis. The benefits of it, like compounding interest, really do add up over time. So it's definitely worth investing in a regular decluttering, decluttering, reorganizing and minimalism approach or strategy or attack every now and again because it really does pay off and is well worth the, investing the time and energy into doing it. No wonder I have been you know, buying takeaway coffees every day. They've all been quick fixes to help mask what I'm really feeling. And I'm not gonna beat myself up about it. This experience in doing this little challenge for myself has given me the clarity and sense of space and focus to actually identify that and then decide what stays and what goes. And that doesn't mean I'm not gonna get takeaway coffees anymore, quite the contrary, but I'm going to make sure that when I do get it, it's when I actually genuinely need it and there's nothing wrong with buying things for myself. That is an act of self-love. It's when I'm buying them mindlessly or buying things in excess or duplicates without any care or thought or I guess unconscious spending. That is what is not healthy and that's what I now can see and I now have the choice to get rid of. All right, everyone, I really hope that you've enjoyed this, this vlog challenge. Let me know if you like this video and if you'd like more um, vlog challenges because I'm thinking of decluttering Tom's car. All right, everyone, have a fantastic week and I will see you next week for Money Monday. Ciao for now.